Hello everyone, my name is Ishmael and then please don't mind the noise if you can hear the noise I'm sure you can hear the noise. They are busy working outside. Okay, but I would like to believe that this noise is not so irritating Praise the Lord Hallelujah, I hope the Lord is with you all you still blessed and um, yes I'm just praying for you all hallelujah and I come to you today with uh, uh, Like I've, I've been given this word, you know and this is very important that this word is just in my spirit. And I'm just praying to the Holy Spirit to just reveal more as I'll be talking. Because it's not one of those messages where I just plan that I'm going to say this, I said this, I said this. But I just knew what I'm supposed to deliver. And that's what I'm going to deliver. And may God reveal more as I'm talking. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help us through this word. May this word bring breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Be an eye opener. In Jesus' mighty name, for those that need this weight, for whoever it's mainly intended to, may they receive in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to share this message, as you saw by the titling of the video, that they are going to test you. Hallelujah. They are coming to test you. I want you to tell, tell you something, that God is about to bless you. Hallelujah. You are at a season where you are about to get a blessing. I'm not giving you false hopes, but I'm just assuring you what's about to come. Hallelujah. What is about to come. Look at it like this. If you, you, I'm just saying this for the sake of increasing your faith. If they say in the whole world, is it like every second or every minute a person dies? Don't you think that in each and every minute or each and every day to make it even more easier or more believable? Each and every man, don't you believe that God blesses somebody as many as we are, as Christians as, as we are? So yes, look at it like that and it will increase your faith. So you'll realize when a word comes, it's most probably your turn. So please understand, uh, I once said it before, that God is someone that when he blesses that different ways in which we get blessed. And what do I mean? Some people, they get blessed without doing anything at the time it's because you find that it's just the time for your blessings you don't have to pray anymore you don't have to fast anymore you don't have to give anymore you don't have to believe now the man the blessing will just begin to manifest and then there are blessings which comes just because you gave something and then it attracted and if you don't give something or a seed it never manifests i've also witnessed it even myself Something would happen immediately, I give. Some immediately, I, I, I decree, I pray and decree. Some will just happen without me doing anything. And then there are blessings in which you overcome a trial, you overcome a test, and it happens. And here, that's what I want to talk about. Do not miss the chance. Before a breakthrough, a test comes. With Joseph, before he could be second in command, he had to go through a prison. Prison, hallelujah. And for that to happen, he had to pass a test. And the test, the way he passed it, it was like indirect. Hallelujah. Because he had to avoid sleeping with a married woman. And that got him arrested so that he can be at the right place. Had he slept with her, he wouldn't have been arrested. Most probably, he would have been caught in the future and most probably been killed. Meaning that would have been the end of the dream and the destiny God had prepared for him. So... Abraham, as much as he was promised some like about 20 years by then, in chapter 18 of Genesis, the Bible makes it clear that before the manifestation of the promised son, the Bible said three men came and those were angels from God. Hallelujah. And they came and they blessed him. In fact, he offered them something to drink. He was able to recognize he was kind to them. And after they ate, they began blessing him, saying, by this time next day, Sarah, your wife, will be having a child. And that was a promised child. So I want to have a message for someone today that stay in the spirit. This is the best way I can explain. Stay in the spirit because when you are in the spirit, you will know what to do. You will know how to respond at the right time. 
Hallelujah. Because God Almighty is about to bless you. God Almighty is about to fulfill what he long promised you. God Almighty is about to send something great in your way. So do not fail your test. It's a test. And the moment you pass it, that's it. Let me tell you that people who even miss out on their kingdom marriages or their marriages because someone came and by the time maybe you find out someone is dis discouraged and they add rude or they don't display who they really are as a Christian and someone starts to assume ah, maybe this person is not really a Christian. Maybe this person is not the right one. Why you are the right one? Just like Rebecca when she left with Eliezer, or she, she was uh, Eliezer went to fetch her. She was ready because in the beginning, in fact, she managed to do all the signs that he had asked God to to prove in order for him to know if you are that she was the right one that God has is has meant for Isaac. And possibly fortunately for her, she did accordingly. Had she not done so, most definitely. Eliaza would have concluded that she's probably not the one. So she passed the test. And more so, when their parents asked, saying that, no, we don't want her to live just yet. And, they, and then Eliaza was like, no, I'm in a hurry. Please don't hold me any longer. And then they asked Rebecca, do you want to live with this man now? And she was like, yes. So it became, it happened so easy. Praise the Lord. I remember at some point before God blessed me at some point, God told me to give this certain amount of money at a time. And I was in the university. I had just saved up some money. And with that money, I wanted to use it for those uh, December holidays. You know what happens? Holiday seasons. But then I felt the edge in the spirit. It was around October that, no, give this money. Give this. There was a certain man of God. And I gave it. And let me tell you, Within a month, I, the, that money multiplied seven times. I was called that I've been entered into a competition. I'll be on radio. In the radio, they made me to choose some letters. And I chose the one that I had. It, it, um, what should I say? It multiplied. Hallelujah. I ended up having seven times the money um, I was having. So that money came back in multiple. Why? Because I obeyed. That was the, be I believe, because after then I expected, let me see, God made me to give this money. Let me see what will happen. Will I get it back? And in expectation, indeed it happened. And so this is, the, in fact, I had even missed those calls when they called me because they called me and I found a miss because I was using a tablet, which I would just put away. I would hardly even use it. And then they kept calling me. The following day, they called me again. The third day, Fortunately, I was around and I picked it up. So that's when God is locating you. You will be tested, but you shall pass. And this is a message for you. Please pray further about this. Okay, ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit so you're always tuned with the Spirit. So that when it comes, you don't miss at your chance, at your visitation. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Bye-bye.